Now I've done a few videos about using third-party plugins in Studio One. So how to install them, what problems you might run into while installing them, things like that. Now I've got a lot of questions from viewers saying that they don't see the VST tab, the famous VST tab in Studio One. I don't seem to be able to do what you're doing in the videos. Is it even possible for me at all to use third-party plugins? Why? How? Help! Now, I think it's high time that we clarify a few things about the possibilities of using third-party plugins with the different versions of Studio One. Now, any installation of Studio One comes with a number of plugins already installed, so stock plugins. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about third-party plugins, so plugins that you install additionally to use in your DAW, in this case Studio One. Now, Studio One comes in three versions. So first of all, we have Studio One Prime, which is the free version of Studio One. So you can just register an account, download it and use it for free. Now, then we have Studio One Artist, which is one step up from Studio One Prime. Obviously, it will give you some more features and some more options. And finally, we have Studio One Professional, and that is, let's say, the full version of Studio One. It will give you everything that Studio One has to offer. Now, using third-party plugins in Studio One Professional is no problem. You can download, install and use third-party plugins in Studio One Professional, period. Now, evidence of that is this. So, if we go up here to Studio One and then Options and then Locations. Now, here is the VST plugin tab that I talked about earlier. And this is what you need to manage the locations of where your plugins are stored on your computer. Now, for all Studio One Prime users out there, unfortunately, I have some bad news. With Studio One Prime, you cannot use third-party plugins. It's not possible. And that is why you won't see that VST plugin tab, because it's not relevant for Studio One Prime, as it is not possible to use third-party plugins with that version. Now, for Studio One Artist users, I have some bad news but I also have some good news. So the bad news is that just like with Studio One Prime, with Studio One Artist, you cannot use third-party plugins. Or at least not with the, uh, let's say, the bare-boned basic version of Studio One Artist. Not possible. However, and this might be the good news, if you still want to use third-party plugins, with Studio One Artist, you have the option to get an extra add-on. Now, this add-on will unlock the possibility of using third-party plugins with Studio One Artist. Now, obviously, this plugin is not free. It'll go for about $80 or about 90 euros, something like that. Uh, I will leave a link in the description, by the way. But anyway, yeah, it will allow you to use third-party plugins with Studio One Artist. Okay, just to summarize. With Studio One Prime, you cannot use third-party plugins, period. With Studio One Artist, you can only use third-party plugins with the extra add-on. And with Studio One Professional, no problem using third-party plugins. All right? Now, I hope that clarifies it. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon.